Hey there ladies and gents, Spazzy here aka Syndromes. This is a response video to the modular ship design tutorial. At the time recording that video, I was somewhat um, ill-advised to not explain how to do this because for some reason I thought that it was... Well, it, it's really hard to kind of predict what people know and don't know about, you know, the game mechanics and the interface. And so, uh, one of the questions was, uh, players trying to place the newly built modules, but they are overlapping. And yes, they will overlap. So, uh, over here I have my save designs. I have, say, a uh, cargo hold, a reactor. I'm going to choose the reactor, I'm going to copy it to clipboard, which is going to make it uh, appear on my screen like now. And you'll notice that, yes, it is actually overlapping on the ship because it is red. Now, the reason for that is when you load up a new part like this, it is going to be holding it, it's going to be following your cursor, but at the same time, it is going to be, quote, uh, held by your cursor at the very center of this part. So you notice that as I'm moving this thing around, it's half, um, you know, lodged into the ship itself simply because it is holding it by the center. Now, what you do in this case is you need to press and hold your left ALT key. It's the key that is next to your Windows key and next to your spacebar. Uh, it can be on the left or the right side depending on what your, you know, layout is. But when you press and hold it, you'll notice that the part has changed its color. It's uh, turned into a you know, a different sort of view, and as you move your cursor around, the part is going to be kept in place while you still hold down this button, I'm still holding it down, and this will allow me to pick a uh, sort of a point that I want to, quote, hold it by. So, for example, if I wanted to place this block somewhere here on this flat surface, and I wanted to use a flat surface, one of the places that I can do this is this part right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim on it, like specifically aim. I, you can, by the way, still use your mouse control, uh, your camera controls with your mouse as you have this uh, button pressed down. So for example, if I pressed and held my right mouse button, I would still be able to move around and see this part a little bit better. So I'm going to aim this right here. I'm going to use my left mouse key to select it as the, quote, anchor point. It's the point that I'm going to be, uh, quote, holding this part by. And now you'll notice as I move it around, it's actually snapping to that point. Now, since it is that exact block that it's currently held by, all I have to do is rotate the whole part like so until it is not overlapping anymore. So for example, if this one, uh, so this part in specific, the one that I chose, it is in fact, um, you know, uh, it, it's in a shape that all the sides are, you know, the same. But for example, if I wanted to say, uh, copy a part of this ship. So let's say I wanted to copy off like the center part. Uh, this is going to be, uh, very, very <laughs> not precise, but for the sake of example, now I'm going to copy and paste it. So right now, it is it has pretty much chosen a random block to kind of hold it by, but let's say I want to connect it to this place by this part, right? So right now, this torpedo mount is going to have to go simply because it is, uh, you know, slightly taller than the rest of the things. But now I'm going to take this part, I'm going to take this thing right here, I'm going to set it as the anchor point, uh, then I am going to turn this around and voila, I have the ability to place it right here. If I want to be precise, I can always say that I want to... Um, use middle snap like this and just like that we have placed the part down and you can do pretty much like um, any sort of modifications like this so for, so for example if I wanted to place another part right here on this face 
I'm going to hold up the part, I'm going to press and hold the Alt key, I'm going to press this part right here, I'm going to rotate it towards the, the you know, face, the point that I need to, and then I can place it down like this. And so again, if I wanted to say, continue on and place another part here, I would angle my camera, I would press and hold Alt, select this part, then I can rotate it around, and well, this time around I cannot place it like this, and I cannot place it like this. So, well, we can always uh, place it somewhere else by something else. But yeah, that is basically how you prevent overlapping parts when you're using these um, modular ship designs, and hopefully this is going to help you.